is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is one of the stranger videos that we've done. Uh, if you've followed the ASUS EPAD Transformer Prime, you know that some of them have Wi-Fi problems, reception issues, where if you go about 20 feet away from the router, you might see your throughput drop or your signal drop more than you think it should. And of course, there's the GPS problem, which may or may not really be fixable. But I can tell you one thing, we've gone through several primes here, retail models purchased from the store, not review units, and the first one we got, well, it had all sorts of problems, not really relating to wireless, so it actually had pretty good Wi-Fi, and the GPS, it wasn't very accurate if you were driving around, but if I took it outside, it would get 10 satellites within a minute, which is pretty good. Now, this guy here is the latest in our series of primes, and I'm happy to report that this one has a very good camera, unlike our first model, and it's the C series of serial numbers, for those of you who follow those things, so that's the latest, greatest, as of the end of January 2012, but... Out of the box, Wi-Fi was really bad, you go about 20 feet from the router, and we saw our 25 megabit connection drop down to about 4, ooh, that's pretty bad. And this is with an 802.11 network, and we have several routers in the building, and it was the same problem with all of them. And I could not get a single GPS satellite, even if I took it outdoors, stood out there for 5 minutes in the glorious winter weather, no, didn't see anything. So then I was reading a... Uh, Teardown that a non-tech did, a great website, and they totally tore this guy apart. Now this guy is not so easy to take apart. It's got a bunch of compression clips, plastic on the side, and it has some glue, so you have to use a heat gun to take it apart. So I wasn't dying to take apart our retail purchase models, but happily a non-tech did it for us. And one thing that I noticed was that there are pogo pins. Now pogo pins are little metal push pins. They have little springs in them, and that's what's used for the wireless antennas. There are two Wi-Fi antennas positioned approximately about here and about here. And instead of having a solder-on connector or something like that, it's a little push-pin connection against some copper tape on the motherboard. Now, those pogo pins, they're not a bad thing, really, because they allow for very small tolerances for very thin devices, and they usually work pretty well. And also, it's easier to assemble and disassemble, because you don't have to worry about ripping out wires when you're taking it apart. And the, the GPS antenna connections, the pogo pin also is right over here. So I thought, well, what the heck? I'm going to try giving it a little squeeze to make sure that those pins are actually making contact with the copper tape. There's a chance that maybe they're not. Now, with our first unit, it was funny. There was actually a little bit of a play in the case over here, but we had no problems with wireless. This one is put together really solid, but we had problems. So what I did was to squeeze. Now, not squeeze like a mad person. You don't want to crack your Gorilla Glass here, but I squeezed just enough right where the antenna connection point locations are, which is about here and here and over here, and you just squeeze with your finger like that, just enough so you see a little bit of light bleed maybe happening over there. It doesn't really take a lot, and support with the back, so you're kind of doing a little pinchy thing right here. And if you're not sure exactly where it is, because while well, you don't have x-ray vision, you can't see those connections, but you can just pretend like you're sealing a manila envelope and just squeeze along here. Now I did that, and voila, suddenly I went outside, I used GPS test application, and I got 12 satellites. Well, that's certainly better than zero. It made a big difference. And for Wi-Fi, using Wi-Fi Analyzer, and that's an application you guys should use, don't rely on the bars. Use something like Wi-Fi Analyzer. It tells you your actual signal in DB and whether access points are in the area and if you've got conflicts, maybe too many access points in one area. Well, we saw about a 15 dB jump in signal and also throughput greatly increased and matched our other tablets in the house, give or take a megabit per second, which really isn't really much to talk about. Right, here's the Wi-Fi Analyzer application. It has several different views. If, to visualize your Wi-Fi signal strain. You can see it always tells you in dB over here. And right now we're actually connected to an access point that's pretty far away physically and through several walls. Now for those of you who'd like to see how this is put together on the inside and like to see where those pogo pins are exactly, you can either visit a non-tech and look at their Transformer Prime teardown or you can visit our website and you can see we've got shots with everything marked on there so you can see where those pins are exactly. So if you purchase an ASUS EPAD Transformer Prime and you're pretty happy with it, but your Wi-Fi isn't working right and your GPS is completely dead as a doornail, before you take it back, it's definitely worth it to give it the little squeezy along the top. Work for me, and I know I posted that on XDA Developers and there's some other threads about that. It's worked for other people too. So hey, can't hurt, give it a try. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Don't forget to watch our full review of the ASUS EPAD Transformer Prime.